I've kept them on all this time, every day, just praying. Clarissa Wood tells Aid on Your Side her nephew, 36-year-old Antonio Cuevas, was visiting Peru for the second time on what she referred to as a spiritual mission. But then the unexpected happened. He got sick in the, in the hotel and started throwing up and getting dizzy and they thought it was the altitude, so they took him to the hospital. From there, Cuevas went into respiratory failure and soon after slipped into a coma. It's something that you see in the news and you hear in the papers, but you never think it's going to happen to your family. Wood refers to her nephew's illness as a mystery and says the family is also unsure of when the father of two will be able to leave the hospital and return home. The family even turned to the U.S. Embassy and the Peruvian government for help. We have had no response and the embassy just telling us that they just can't help us. Wood estimates Cuevas' medical expenses total over $20,000 and to fly him to Tampa would be another $68,000. His family set up a GoFundMe page in order to get Antonio back home and alleviate some of the financial burdens they've face. About 200 and some people have contributed, but that's just not nearly enough. We have a goal at least of 100,000. We need help. We need help. We really need to get this kid home. We need every help you can give us. To help bring Antonio home, you can find a link to his GoFundMe page on our website, WFLA.com. For Aid on Your Side, I'm Serafina Brooks.